It's very true that we need to live without fear to be free. And to do this, we need to overcome our fears and confront them. If you've had trauma in your life, such might be the case with PTSD or CPTSD, then overcoming the trauma by facing it, forgiving others and yourself, and making it a thing of the past must come first. Once this has been done, then you're ready to challenge yourself and overcome fears. For example, if you have a fear of spiders or a fear of speaking in public or a fear of heights and so the list goes on, then challenging yourself to overcome your fear or fears is not a good idea as this could lead to more trauma and be damaging to your mental health by actually increasing the trauma. Don't let people push you into coming out of your comfort zone before you're ready. No one can decide when the timing is right for that. Only you can. Complying with other people's requests before you're ready is people pleasing. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, then that is your higher self or inner self, if you like, telling you not to do it. Going against this is never a good idea. Whilst it can be said that we learn by our mistakes, don't allow yourself to people please just because you find it hard to say no. Challenging yourself is progress, but when the time is right, you will feel when the timing is right for challenging yourself. You will decide. Don't allow others to push you before you are ready and make the decision for you. Many times we say, okay, sure, I'll do that. Or yes, of course I will, when we don't want to. We're putting ourselves under pressure before we're ready. Taking care of your mental health should be first and foremost. And sometimes saying no is the best option for this. You're not letting others down by saying no. Taking care of yourself and being responsible for your own mental health is self-care and it isn't selfish. Perhaps, if you have a fear of snakes, you've overcome your fear by being close to a snake and not feeling frightened. And perhaps you may have even touched one and not felt scared. Then you've overcome your fear of snakes. You don't need to lie down in an enclosed tank full of them crawling all over you to prove this. However, there are some people that love to be in the spotlight and love fame and attention and they thrive on doing things to shock people. Do we need to eat insects and challenge ourselves to do this, perhaps for money and popularity or because it's trendy? This is not taking care of yourself. Come out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself if and when you're ready. Do what is right for you. Don't let other people decide for you. We all want to help others and have compassion for others. However, if we're not looking after ourselves, then we can't help others. In an airplane, when the pressure drops, we're asked to put on our own oxygen masks before helping others put on theirs, and with good reason. This applies to life in general too. If we are well, then we can help others become well. If we're strong, then we can help others become strong. We can't do this if we're unwell or weak. Helping people is like climbing a ladder. Yourself, loved ones and family, friends and neighbours, community, town, city, county and state, country, continent, world. Helping ourselves is helping others. Be responsible and put yourself first. <laughs>